Good early morning, fellow YouTubers. We are live. We can do some rapping, some ventriloquism, some acoustic guitar playing. That's what we got wrapped up in this video today. All kinds of cool stuff we can be doing in this video. Some rapping, some acoustic guitar playing, some ventriloquism. But, um, yeah, first, we are live, chilling like an old school rock star villain. Right now, I'm working on some wands for my Etsy store. I figured I'd get all the wands I have carved out, painted, and then go collect a couple more sticks so I can make the batch a little bit bigger. Catching the Cobra live, that's what's uh, indeed it is. The early bird gets the special, as they say. Yepers. I don't know how much longer my internet's going to be on, so I will try to make a couple more videos at least until that happens, which I don't think it will if I can get a batch of wands done quick enough. I don't think they'll shut it off just yet. We shall see, though. I just woke up, Cobes, early wand making. That's what's up. Yippers. The nice thing about having that vice clamp is when I use the mini sander or if I paint the wand, it can all be done to minimize the mess to next to nothing, so. Yeah. <sighs> I'm out of tobacco at the moment, but that's all right. I might have a pinch of cigarette tobacco in my pipe right here. Yep, a cigarette. Because it could just be ash by this point. Yeah, no, that tobacco's ash. That's all right. What's up, Josh? How are you? Hanging in there, man. Thanks for asking. Hanging in there, man. Thanks for asking. Getting an early start of them wands. I got a couple wands carved out and I'm getting them painted. Once I get them painted and they're in the final stages of drying on the paint, I'm going to go collect more sticks to make the batch a little bit bigger. Actually, no, it's the left hand path. What's happening? Did they catch the person? Um, as far as I know, I don't know. But like I've mentioned before, it's being under investigation. So that's all I'm saying. <sighs> you should make videos on 
Left hand path magic. I feel the subs would be interested. Hmm. I suppose I could, but there's certain things that I cannot disclose. There's certain information that you have to be an actual practitioner to know, you know. Good morning, Exhumed Visions. Uh, the part that takes the longest for making these wands is, is getting them painted and getting them to those final stages. And what I'll do is I'll get all the wands I have carved out painted, and then once they're all painted and the, the paint's dry, I'll get a bunch of them done to that point. So that way when I add handles and podge, they're all done collectively at the same time. Cobes, have you done sex magic rituals yet, like Aleister Crowley? No, I haven't, and there's no such thing as sex magic. Magic is magic, period. This whole white magic, black magic, this and that, you know, magic is, well, you know. Um, that comment is going to get you removed. <coughs> Ew. Excuse me. Mm. Well, thank you, Dana Smith. The limits of magic depends on how far you can push your mind. The limits of magic, YouTube, are how far you can push your mind. Hooey, that sounds like a pickle to be in. Hooey. Well, yeah, I can give some advice on that. Cobes, could you give some advice to my friend Aaron? His wife sent nude pics to all his friends, and now she's making him out to be the bad guy. He's crushed because she wants a divorce. Well, Rush, sorry to hear that your buddy Aaron's going through that. Um, stay strong. That's all I got to say. Get that divorce from her. You know... Get that chick out of your life, Aaron, and find yourself a good woman who will appreciate you for you. Okay. The best advice, okay, the best advice I could give your friend, Aaron, is don't let this negative experience with one woman ruin your experience for all women, you know? Not every woman is this nasty you know i mean sending nude pics to your friends and then making you out to be the bad guy that's some pretty shitty shit again 
he could say one thing, she could say another, you know. Um, my best advice in that situation, Aaron, would be just to, you know, get that chick out of your life, dude. Find yourself a woman who has less problems. Admittedly, men and women come with problems. That's just part of dating. Both sexes will testify to that. There's a reason why some women and some men prefer being single for longer periods of time because collectively speaking, you know, collectively speaking, sometimes dating can have, it's bullshit. So there's that, you know, this, this is something I've always said, like if you're single, it could be worse. You know, a YouTube fan writes in asking for advice for his friend Aaron. Now his friend Aaron has a wife who sends nude, nude pictures to all of Aaron's friends, makes him out to be the bad guy and wants a divorce. So naturally he's crushed. And the thing you have to realize is what if a guy did some shit like this? You know, what if on the offhand chance Aaron's wife is a real bitch, okay, on the offhand chance? And he's on the offhand chance that Aaron's the victim in this situation. You know, could you imagine, YouTube, if um, some guy did that shit? Sent a bunch of dick pics to his to all his wife's friends and made her out to be the bad person, you know. Yeah. Rush says, Aaron's wife is the biggest bitch you will ever see. Well, Rush, I'm sorry that you and Aaron had to go through that. But like I said, don't let it ruin your experience of women in general. This is something that I see men and women go through when it comes to dating. You know, women who have... A couple of bad experiences with men it's very easy to to just assume that you know all men are assholes that kind of thing and men who have negative experiences with women are quick to do the same and just assume you know and that's completely unfair for the good ones that are out there YouTube mm -hmm. Whoa, -ho. okay. Rush writes, Cobes, Aaron's wife blew a guy in a bathroom and Aaron forgave her for that. Okay, that's where things get interesting because that kind of makes it worse. Okay. If your other half cheats on you, you know, maybe mistakes happen and maybe they were not in the right frame of mind or maybe they were f forced into it. Who knows, right? Um, if it happens once, you know, that's totally your choice totally your choice if you want to stay with that person you want to forgive them okay or if that person cheats on you one time and you forgive them and then they do it again and again and again and again and again and again 
sending nude pics to your friends, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you just keep forgiving them and you keep forgiving them. And what you're saying to them is walk all over me. I'm a cigarette butt. Please walk all over me. And naturally, when the person wants a divorce, let them get it. You know what I'm saying? Get that person out of your life. You know, if you have someone who treats you like that, you don't deserve it. You don't. I had a female friend who was going to remain anonymous. But I had a female friend who just got out of a really shitty relationship. And she's a thousand times happier for it. You know. She's been in a relationship with this person for years. And it's done nothing for her but drag her down. Now, obviously, the people that she broke up with, person, persons, whatever, you know, obviously, she still cares for that person. But, and he still cares about her, but that's as far as it goes, you know. They both come to a mutual agreement. And that's just it. When couples come to a mutual agreement that you're no longer happy for each other, then just break it off. It's like ripping the Band-Aid off a scab. Nobody wants to do it, but it has to be done. Hmm. Dana Smith writes, I think everyone should be single. Dating is flawed in our society. You know, Dana Smith, that is a fair point, but the only reason dating is flawed in our society is because people make it flawed. People's choices make it flawed. People's choices make it flawed. They do. People's choices make dating flawed in our society. Double standards, sexism, racism, people having high standards, people treating online dating like it's a sugar daddy culture, you know? People treating each other like shit, you know? When you got people who are cheating on each other and that kind of thing, and see, that's just the thing of it. I've never cheated on a girl since the one time I did have a relationship where I did do it, and I regret it. <clears throat> this, I don't remember where I got it. I've had this necklace for a long time. And I've had to fix it a couple times to make it wearable. Hmm. Well, the spiked collar was sent to me by a fan, or rather a troll, if you will. One of the two, I don't know. Actually, yes, the collar was sent to me by a troll because they're like, there's no way in hell he's going to wear it. It's way too big. They were bragging about it on that stupid subreddit page. They were like, I showed them. Why do you have trolls? I don't know. Why does anybody have trolls is the bigger question. Why does anybody have trolls on the internet is the bigger question. What's up, Hell Mama Raised? Working on some wands. 
helping people with advice, you know. Well, the dog collar was almost big enough to be a belt, so I had to cut a lot of that collar off to make it wearable. These trolls are like, oh, let's send this humongous dog collar to him as a joke. There's no way he's going to wear it. I'm like, yeah, joke's on you. Thanks for the free dog collar. Well, thank you, George, dude. He says, hope you have a good day. Perhaps maybe for a different video. You're welcome, Rush. You know, if your buddy Aaron's crushed because his wife wants a divorce, I understand that, you know, if he's been married to her for so long, I guess that can be understandable. But tell your friend not to be crushed and just to find himself a better woman, you know? So, I cast a circle of good luck for Rush and his buddy Aaron. Hopefully that Aaron can find himself a woman to his taste, his standards, that'll treat him right. So, mote it be in the witch's circle. Yeah. There you go, Rush. Hopefully that helps your buddy Aaron with uh, his relationship shit. Let me know in the next couple of days if anything changes, you know. I saw that too, Jesse. It was like a burst of energy. So cool. Yeah, people want to see me do interesting things on YouTube. How about making a burst of energy shoot from my wand? Whoa, how did he do that? Shout out to uh, Matthias Hagen, Norway, and his friend Anders Brivik. Oh, no, that was no special effects. Let me ask you something. If I'm doing a live video... How can I make it special effects? Okay, this, this is real time. Hell yeah, thank you for the $25 donation. Appreciate that. Shout out to uh, Trans... Transferry. Hell yeah. That's most definitely what's up. Hell yeah. Shout out to uh, Jazz Arbello. Your hair is coming in thick, sexy as hell, Cobes. 
Well, thanks for noticing. Hey, Z, thank you for the $1.99 donation. All right. May Z Craig gets the crush they're looking for. So mote it be in the witch's circle. Oh, you already know my fans rock. Hey, what's up? Good morning, Cobes. Hope you're having a good day. Well, it's not starting off too bad, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Josh, have you ever taught someone else magic? Well, I've tried in the past, but... Hmm. Josh, have you ever... Oh, an apprentice, for example. Um... I tried to in the past, but to no avail. Hmm. What time is it there? It is 10.43, YouTube. Thank you for asking that question. Bro, Cobes should do videos about magic and teaching it. That's what's up. Something to think about, yeah. You going to make wands with crystals? Yeah. I do plan on including some more crystal wands for my um, Etsy. You in Mountain Time. Well, there is definitely mountains surrounding Casper, so Mountain Time sounds accurate, yes. Josh, do you have any diarrhea tips? Well, take some Pepto-Bismol and, you know, sit on the toilet and flush until it goes away, I guess. And if you have to flush in between loads so it doesn't overflow, you know, then, oof. A circle of healing for John Whitehouse. May his diarrhea go away. Burst of green energy. Booyah. What's better, Josh, goth girls or vampire-style chicks? Yeah, they're both good. It's like, oh, come on. That'd be like picking between your favorite alcohols. You know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> <coughs> mm. Nope. If there are any leads, I'm not discussing them on YouTube, just in case the asshole who did it's watching. 
You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Do you like black metal, of course? Me too, John, me too. What's your favorite black metal band? Uh, too many, too many to name. Damn, bro, your hair is looking really thick today. A lot thicker than yesterday. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah, the hair is starting to come in, although the sides are just a titch longer. I took a comb to my hair earlier and kind of tried to fluff it out a bit. I came to see those wands, bro. All right. Well, I'll show you a couple of the wands that I'm working on here. The ones that I have painted so far. Yeah, we're getting them done, YouTube. Salute, but surely. They're not done done, but I get them to this point before I add the handles and podge them. So, the live stream is no lie. You know, I am actually making wands for Etsy. Like this one, for instance. It just looks like a wand when you hold it, you know? It feels like a wand when you hold it. Hmm. And of course, there's this one right here that I'm working on. Tip of that should be done drying. So now I'm going to put some green on the handle. Just like that. I'm going to hold it over the trash can so we don't get paint all over the place. Give it a shake in the trash can. Beautiful. Now that we got the green on this side for the handle, I'm gonna let that dry on top of the uh, paint can here. And um, hmm. The paint on the purple one's a little bit sticky, but it's dry enough that I can touch it. It's not coming off on my fingertips. I like that. I like that a lot, you too. So right now I'm just, uh, like I said, getting the wands I have carved out, painted, and ready for handles, you know, and that kind of thing. Um, I get a bunch of these wands painted in a group, so that way when I go to add handles, done. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to add some black spray paint for the purple wand. Kind of put it on the handle. Of course, you can paint your wand handle whatever color you like. You know, it's your wand. You paint... You can use craft paint, can paint, it don't matter. Now, if you're painting indoors, though, just make sure you, you paint over a trash can or paint over your workbench so you're not getting it all over the place, YouTube. Oh, 
awesome stars. Now, I'm gonna, now that uh, we got our paint for the handle done, we're going to let it dry. Oh, that looks nice. That's a very nice. Well, now I've done all I could up to this point for my wands. Um, let those suckers dry. And this trash can is looking a little full, too, so. Yay, adulting. Yeah, I'm going to take this trash out. It's a little full, YouTube. Tell you what, it doesn't get much more entertaining than this. Watching Gothic King Cobra take out the trash. <laughs> All jokes aside, though. Grab my keys with me so that way I don't get locked out. Yeah. Those are some good-looking ones, YouTube. I'll be right back.
Ting, 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 ting. Sorry it took me a minute, tubes. Found a couple snipes outside for pipe tobacco. And they sell bags of Cherokee red pipe tobacco here in town for like 15 bucks. And you get this big old bag of it too. It's that's, which isn't a bad deal. That's why I'm trying to make more wands. In my internet, you know, get that hustle. And I'll put this back in the kitchen for now. Now, when I go to carve more wands, when I go to carve more wands and what have you, that trash can will go back underneath the vice clamp. But for now, the wands I have carved out are painted. The wands I have carved out are painted, so I'll let them dry. And you might think it's gross, but eh, this is better than smoking someone else's cigarette, but to be honest. One of the reasons why being a pipe smoker can come in handy sometimes. You take a cigarette butt, you take a pipe, Squeeze, roll, pinch, boom. This way you're not smoking someone else's used cigarette butt, just the tobacco on the inside, right? That's not something I do too, 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 too often. Like if you're in a pinch and you really, 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 really need some tobacco, you know. When will the wands be up on Etsy, Cobes? Hmm. Well, you know, I'll let you all know when the wands become available for Etsy. The wands gotta get done, YouTube. So, you know, I got the ones that I carved out, painted. Now it's just gonna let them dry before we add the uh, the leather and the pond and everything. Yeah, and they're looking good too. You know, they're looking nice. Um, for ED. Well, if you have ED, try smoking some pot, eating some oysters. And, you know, serious. I'm serious, YouTube. General George Washington, our very first president, smoked pot for his toothaches and for his ED. Yes, it does. If your friend has erectile dysfunction, smoke some pot, eat some oysters, drink a little bit of wine. You're set.
Well, you could also take Viagra in addition to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you take a Viagra in addition to smoking some pot and eating some oysters. You know. If you don't know what that is, then you shouldn't be on my stream. <laughs> you got hidden. Um, yes, I when I can, I'll go to Colorado and occasionally, you know, buy a couple of J's from a dispensary and just toke up, you know, when I can. If you go to a dispensary, see, I'm, I'm 28 years old. I can legally go to a dispensary in Colorado and purchase recreational. If you're like four to eight blocks away from the schools and away from the dispensary, they don't care where you're smoking it, you know? You could walk down the street in Colorado smoking a joint and no one says shit other than, hey, that smells good. What you smoking? Where'd you get it? Yeah. Hmm. Enough to get the job done exhumed. Good fine afternoon, black metal. How's it going? Hell yeah. You got any steel reserve for the fine afternoon? Well, at the moment, I do not. No. No. You didn't do anything. Here's the answer to your question. He's been causing trouble all morning. <laughs> hmm. Number one favorite wand. Well, I like all the wands in my collection, so that's hard to say which one's my favorite. Did you drink the rest of that rum? Yes, I did. Am I in mourning? Uh, no. Just up this morning, getting my wands done. J 
Josh, can you please get turned up for the stream? Hmm. Do you think weed makes you smarter? Do the wands cause splinters? No. Um, I guess it depends. You know, I don't think weed necessarily makes you smarter, but I think sometimes when you smoke pot, sometimes when you smoke pot, you'll see things that most people don't normally see. You know, you'll make those connections, you know, Mm, nope. I do not have any, no. Ever conjured a tornado? Hmm. Can't say that I have. Well, what was your other account then? And maybe I'll unblock you. Well, it's a, what was your question again, Shakes M? I get so many of these freaking comments. Let's see. Um, man, I'm sure you didn't mean to. It was just a, uh, oh, no, I have not conjured tornadoes. No. Not by accident, at least not intentionally, no. Ah. Well, Ganja Guy, if you uh, message me a link to your other account, I'll unblock you. Well, if you could exhumed visions, that would be awesome. Um, I don't know Ganja Guy's other account, so. Eh. Do you like the cure? Yes. They're pretty good. You're welcome. Would you ever conjure a tornado? No. You are so sexy. Well, thank you for saying that. Hmm. What is spooky tuning like? What are the notes? That's a good question. I'll grab my uh, trusty acoustic here. Okay. Well, spooky tuning, as you see me play, is quite fun to play in. Let me sure I got it tuned up first.
Yeah, that's spooky tuning, all right? So you got the E. From the thickest to the thinnest. So basically, the bottom three are standard, the top one, standard. If you want spooky tuning, you really only have to change two strings. Which is your the one below the top one here? Thunderstruck. We should teach him some chords. Um, appreciate the incentive, but I don't need y'all's help learning chords. I have a book for that, you know. <coughs> like, I'm not even shitting you, YouTube. Check that out. Right there. Encyclopedia. Picture chord encyclopedia. Over 2,600 chords. That literally contains every guitar chord ever. Swampadelic sticker. Ah. Do ladies like guys into metal, and does it help you pick up chicks? Good question. That depends on if the chick's into metal. Still working on my first Swampadelic bottle. Shit's hot. <laughs> yes, it is. Josh, my buddy, is looking for an acoustic. Would you sell yours by chance? Just wondering. Fuck no. I am not. No, this was given to me. My grandmother gave me this acoustic guitar. I'm not selling it. Piss off, okay? <laughs> My grandmother gave me this acoustic guitar, so I take excellent care of it, mind you. As corny as that sounds. But, um... I've had this acoustic guitar for a hot minute. Shred and growl. Tch. Acoustic metal. 
Why not? <laughs> well, that's your personal opinion, I suppose. Make a song like that for the new album. <laughs> well, I got to work on the song that I'm working on right now. Maybe, just maybe. Crazy Train. All right, let me tune it back up to standard. Thank you, Sebastian, for the um, $2. Any update on the new album release date? Um, nope. It will come out when it comes out. I'm working on it. Or trying to, at least. Sometimes it's hard to push that creative, you know. <laughs> Cool thing about standard tuning, you can play Crazy on You by Heart and Crazy Train using practically the same top three strings, really. I mean, Nickelback on the guitar. Um, no, I do not. Hey, Josh, nice guitar. Thank you. Josh, do you watch any anime? I do, yes. Do I know any, any Nirvana on the guitar? No, I do not. Well, I do have pink as an option for the wands. Um, yeah. If 
about to go collect some more sticks for my next batch. So that way the ones I have on the workbench can finish drawing on the paint. some subway here in a bit before I collect my sticks if I have to if I really am you know Would you ever go vegan? Um, no. Is there something carved in the forehead? Nope. It just has a hot sauce sticker and that's it. Yeah. should just grow a mustache they are metal as fuck what do you think this is <laughs> seriously I'm working on a beard right here to go with it Cobra how do you feel about double standards Hmm, I hate him. Does playing the guitar seduce girls? You already know it. Oh, you already know it, dude. You don't even know the half of it, man. This one time when I got laid by this cute chick, we're sitting here having a couple of drinks, and she's like, Oh, you play guitar? Can I see? And at the time, my electric guitar didn't work, so I pulled out this acoustic and strummed on a couple of chords, and she was like, oh, you're really good. Next thing you know, man. Yeah. So can playing guitar seduce the girls? You already know. Favorite anime? Oh, there's too many to list. There's so many good options to choose from. Amen to that. Is guitar cooler than drums? Well, I think they're both cool in their own special way because a good guitar can add just as much to a song as a good drum track, so...
Naruto is alright, yeah. Bleach, definitely, I like Bleach. Death Note's good, too. Do you watch JoJo? The anime? I don't think I've ever seen or heard of that anime, no. Are you still staring at women? Okay, I don't stare at women. I check them out. There's a difference. The occasional, yeah, she's cute. And I leave it at that. You know? Big difference between a quick glance like, yeah. A quick little glance like, yeah, she's cute. Versus just flat out. You know, big difference, YouTube. And what pisses me off is when women get mad because guys are checking them out. Like, okay, you check out men all the fucking time, so fuck your double standards, honey. Straight up. Women check out men all the fucking time, but the second we do it, we're the asshole pigs. But if women check us out, we can't say shit, even if the woman's beneath our league. Even if we have a girlfriend already, we can't say shit. Copes, check your PayPal. All right, I'll check it real quick. Why not? See what uh, see what's popping off on here real quick. Awesome sauce. My fans are awesome. <laughs> they are. My fans kick ass. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Yeah, buddy. How much did I get? I got $50. That's most definitely what's up. Hell yeah, man. $50, make it holla. Do ladies like ventriloquism? Well, the bigger question you have to ask is, do ladies love to laugh? And the answer is yes. Laughter is the best medicine. That being said... I mean, if you're a good ventriloquist and your jokes are funny, I don't know, ask Jeff Dunham. The dudes had, like, Two wives now. He's on his second one, if I believe. So you, you tell me. But I want to put this up for the moment, and um, 
<laughs> right? Dana Smith knows what's up. So, Sean, where do you work? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Well, we're going to have some fun on this live stream while we're working on wands. We're going to have to go to uh, Google real quick. Yo, are we live? We're still live. Good, good, good. <clears throat> so let's let's just do our thing, man. Um, big thank you to the fan who sent fifty bucks. Didn't ask for it, but you know, hey, cool. You know, who am I to argue when uh when fans do that? Uh, the kindness of their heart. Love it. Okay. Order online. All right. So we're going to get ourselves a snack going for delivery. And, uh, yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be an extra large or a large, you know. I'm going to make it a medium, save myself a couple bucks. Cheese, let's go double garlic parmesan white sauce. Toppings, let's go bacon, Philly cheesesteak. Uh, pepperoni and beef. Let's go double on the bacon. Add some onion. Uh, and... Uh, that's fine with me, dude. Maybe some spinach. Onion and spinach. Hmm, do I want jalapenos? I do like jalapenos. Okay, we'll add the jalapenos. And the hot sauce. Okay, add to order. Actually, I take the hot sauce and the jalapenos off. I'm not feeling spicy today. I got hot sauce in the fridge, so yeah. All right, so I'll do that. Two of those, check out. I don't know what you're looking at here. There I go. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I'm going to take the beef and the pepperoni off. Yeah. Just do normal on the bacon and see how much that is. Or yeah, with yeah. see what we got here. See if that made it a little bit cheaper. Uh not by much. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay, cheese and sauce, uh, toppings. Okay, let's just take these two off. There we go, bacon, Philly cheesesteak, onion, spinach. So it's four toppings, two meats, two veggie. Just my OCD kicking in, don't mind me, YouTube. Okay, save changes. Okay, there we go. That's a bit more reasonable. I want to add a two liter of Coke. Boom, add that to the order. Booyah. All right, continue to check out. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's see what it said here. <laughs> Let's go back and see. Make it a large for $3 more. Uh, yeah, why not? Oh, wait. There we go. Place it. Place it. Place it. Ba 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 booyah, baby. All right, YouTube. So I'll stay on the live until we get the pizza. Yeah, buddy. Wasn't expecting my fans to just give me money like that, but I greatly appreciate it. Hmm. Hell yeah. Josh, do you have any advice for getting through a breakup? Oh, you got cheated on. I am 28. Thank you for asking. Um, all you can do is keep your head strong, you know, try not to let it get to you and try not to let it affect your outlook on that gender that you're into, you know, just try to keep your head up. That's all you can do. I'll be getting more cooking videos up when I can. Awesome sauce. All right, so you're just tuning in. I had a fan send me some money via PayPal, which allowed me to order some dankness. We have a large hand-tossed pizza with double cheese, garlic, parmesan, white sauce, Bacon, Philly, steak, onions, spinach, and two garlic cups for the garlic butter, and a two liter of Coke. Coolness, man. The order, your order is in the oven. Cool. Get to watch it play out in uh, real time, yeah. This will be uh, this will be nice, YouTube. We'll be able to watch it. We'll be able to uh, make that money, me make that money, make that money. 
My line of work is a uh, professional wand maker. Yes, that's what I. Uh, that's what I do. I am a uh, professional wand maker by trade. Yippers, that's what I do. <clears throat> but yeah, you know, I do appreciate my fans. You know I do. Because uh, without them, I wouldn't be able to do the things that I do on, on YouTube. You know, that's, that's, uh, that's no lie. You know, my fans are fucking awesome. They really are. Yeah. Uh, and you know when the haters talk smack let them talk smack YouTube let them let them talk smack who's making the pizza it says Michaela put your order in the oven that's what's up Yeah, buddy. Yeah, watching it slowly but surely. All you gotta do now is just uh, wait patiently, you know? And now uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Just gonna sit here and uh, wait patiently. Yep. Someone said, said check PayPal above. All right. I'll check it again. <clears throat> Two dollars, hell yeah. Appreciate that. Transferred to my bank. That's what's up. <coughs> cool beans, dude. 
Big thank you to whoever did that. Nope, it's two dollars. I appreciate that. Did you read the note? Laugh my ass off. Yeah, I'm sure I can read it. Go back to the PayPal here. Hell yeah, a spell of courage for Aaron Logan on whatever they may be attempting. Thank you for your $2 donation. Greatly appreciated. Hmm, possibly, maybe, we'll see. <clears throat> Hell yeah. This is double checked your order, so it should be out for delivery any second now. Cool beans, tubes. Well, I tip when I can, you already know. Well, I'm just going out to wait for the pizza. So I don't really need to wear socks. Yeah, buddy. And I reckon it's going to be uh, showing up any second now. Or getting ready to be, you know, sent out for delivery. So, you already know. I like excess, but sometimes I don't need it. Sometimes extra cheese is plenty. <clears throat> Yeah, buddy, you too. We're going to be eating good here in a minute. I do appreciate every last one of my fans for doing what they can to help out and donate, you know. Even if you can't donate and you just tune in to watch the video, I appreciate it, you know. Hmm. Well, I already did order it. Yes, so it, it's on its way here shortly. At least it will be. Yep, it's out for delivery. All righty, YouTube. Grab my what I need here. And, um... 
I'm gonna go wait for the uh, for the pizza. I'll be right back, YouTube.
da 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 That's most definitely what's up, YouTube. We are back. We are back. We are back. We are back. All righty then. So one of my fans graciously sent me some money. Appreciate that. Let's do a uh, live review, man. All right, so this here is a Domino's large pizza. We have Philly cheesesteak, bacon, double the cheese, spinach, onion on a hand tossed crust, white Parmesan garlic sauce, and of course, we got our two cups of garlic butter to go on top. And this thing just came out of the oven, so it's it's pretty fresh. So I want to go ahead and put the good stuff on top real quick. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and whoop, pop that open. Booyah, baby. Dump all that garlicky, buttery goodness right on top. Ready to drop. Ready to pop. Mm. So uh, that's what's up. We got some fresh pizza. Nice to meet you. Okay, take a look at that, YouTube. Doesn't that look delicious? Thank you for the $6.66 donation. That's most definitely what's up. That pizza is literally fresh, yo. All that butter just melted on top. Kind of smeared around a little bit here. Yes. Now we're going to take some of these nacho cheese Doritos and put them on top. We're a little bit in the bag here, so. I had some chips from Subway yesterday that I was saving. But we can go ahead and just use that for our pizza right now. We're going to sit here and we're going to take these delicious nacho cheese Doritos. Crush them up into a fine powder, just like that, beautiful. And right on top of our gar garlicky, buttery goodness. I'm gonna take these Doritos and just sprinkle them on top of our pizza. Trying to get a nice even coating of Doritos all over our pizza. There we go. A nice light Cheetos, Doritos, whatever the fuck you want to put on it because it's your pizza, right? Okay. But yeah, look at that, YouTube. Just put some Doritos up on that mother trucker.
all that garlicky butter that I poured on top, it just melted on top of our pizza. And then those nacho cheese Doritos on top of that melted butter. Now that butter is not moving around. Now that butter is staying in place. Thanks to our Doritos. That's most definitely what's up. Mm, got a piece of spinach right here. Mm, yum. Look at that beautiful pizza, YouTube. I want you to look at it. Oh, yeah. If you like these kinds of videos, subscribe for more. Go ahead and set that to the side for just one second. While we throw away our empty garlic butter in our empty bag. Okay, so we got... One more time for the fans. We got double the cheese, hand-tossed crust, white Parmesan garlic sauce, bacon, Philly cheesesteak, onions, spinach, two cups of garlic butter, crushed on nacho cheese Doritos, <whistles> bacon, Philly cheesesteak, spinach, onions, double the cheese, hand-tossed crust, garlic white sauce, Crushed on Doritos. Ooh wee. We gotta get a slice of it, yo. We just got to. I'm gonna grab a uh, plate and let's give it a whirl, shall we? Oh. The end of that piece kind of came off a little bit there, but that's all right. Mm. There we go. Let's have a bite of that. Mm. Oh, yeah. So we got four toppings. It's a large, four topping, not too shabby. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's really good. That is so flipping good. Mm. Those Doritos on top add a nice crunch to it. It's just out of this world. This is some bomb ass pizza, yo. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Fresh out of the oven, melt in your mouth, delicious. Mm. Yo. Excellent job as usual, Domino's. That's delicious. Mm. I'm just saying, a pizza doesn't need a whole lot to be delicious. It really doesn't. Mmm. That's definitely eating good, and my fingers are greasy. Hold up. Yo, I gotta grab another slice of that. That was good. A little tiny baby slice right here. I gotta, I gotta grab one more little slice of this real quick.
for the stream. Mm. YouTube. This is delicious. Mm. I know I could eat four slices, but ten toppings? Nope, only four. Bacon, Philly cheesesteak, onions, spinach, double the cheese, garlic white sauce, hand-tossed crust, two cups of garlic butter, and a sprinkle of nacho cheese Doritos. How much was that delicious pizza that I'm consuming on right now? Well, if you don't include the bag of Doritos, this miniature bag that I put on there. Let's take a look and see. Um, hmm. Let's see. Boom. Twenty-five seventy-four. That's not bad. Not bad at all. <clears throat> In fact, that was quite tasty. Mm. Excuse me. Hoo wee. Did you tip the driver? Of course I did. They did have a five ninety nine deal, which I probably should have taken, but yeah, that's all right. This uh, this still tastes pretty good. Mm. Okay, I've got to have one more slice before I put it up because I'm getting full. And this pizza is delicious. I have one last look at that. One last look at it. Booyah. Okay. So again, a big thank you to the fans. You guys are awesome. Um... Uh -huh. I'll put this in the kitchen for later. Uh -uh -uh. Yo, let's get another slice of this in our system for the uh, for the day. Oh, yeah. This is some good eats. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, buddy. Eating disorder coming in quite nicely. That's what's up. Yeah, that just got you blocked from my channel. Loser troll. Yes, I do have an eating disorder, and I'm working past it. So as I am trying to work past it, we don't need people making jokes about it. 
course, now that I said that, people are going to make jokes about it. That's how the internet works. Yep. Do you ever get their subs? Um, well, I haven't tried their subs, but I'm sure they're delicious. A lot of that's good genetics exhumed, but yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is some seriously good fucking pizza, yo. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> oh, they're not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. This is just free advertisement. Mm. Oh, dude, this pizza rocks. That pizza sounds dank each time you take a bite of it. You already know. Did you get some Coca-Cola? You already know. Nope, not a sponsor. Domino's is not a sponsor. Not. This is this is free advertisement. Free advertisement. Hmm. Are you a fan of or know who Trapped is? Yes, I know who Trapped is. He's the one that filmed my documentary. Am I sponsored by Tactical Soap? No. Nope. Mm. <coughs> mm. Oh, hell yeah, that's going to make for a tasty snacking on later on. Mm -mm. YouTube, that was delish. Delicious as always. Domino's is one of the big four. You got Papa John's, Domino's, Little Caesars, Pizza Hut. All four of those companies make bomb-ass pizza, yo. Uh, oh. mm. Delicious. I'm going to put the rest of these napkins up. For later. Okay. Well, <laughs> best way to wash that down is with some of this ice cold Coca Cola. Are you a Coke or a Pepsi person? I like both Coke and Pepsi products. I'm not particularly that picky. Pour a cup of that real quick. Let the fizz die down. Let the fizz die down. Give it some more. This stuff is so bad for you, but that's why it tastes so bloody good. <laughs> uh. Just hear it fizzling and sizzling in the cup. Mmm. Delicious. Go and put this in the fridge. 
put this in the fridge so it stays nice and cold. Uh, no, it's not because the beverage is ice cold. Oh, yeah. Sexy goth bad boy writes, big love from the UK. That's what's up. Are you going to work on some wands? Yes, I'm going to go gather some more sticks here in a bit and um, continue working on this batch of wands. I got a couple started already that are drying on the paint. But thank you, YouTube, for watching the live stream and tuning in. I appreciate it. And thank you for donating, as always, you know. <coughs> mm. That's how good the pizza was. Yo. How long is this stream? Hoo wee, two hours long. Yeah. I'm gonna wrap this shindig up, folks. Anyways, tubes, thanks for watching my live stream. Subscribe to the King Cobra JFS channel for more awesome content. You like the guitar playing, the pizza reviews, the tobacco reviews. You like all the stuff. If you like all the stuff that I do on my YouTube channel, subscribe for more. The channel's blowing up because you cool cobras. Anyways, YouTube, I do thank you for watching and um I'm about to go get uh, some more sticks collected, so. Anyways, tubes, thanks for watching. I'll catch you cool covers later.